What's up guys, this is Josh from Keep It Techie and today I wanted to show you guys a Linux terminal multiplexer called Screen. Okay, so have you ever been in a situation where you have to run like long running tasks or scripts or something like that on a remote server and then let's say you you lose ssh connection well when this happened it kills that process or task or script that you were running and you lose all your work that you know that the task or script was doing where there's an application called screen uh and it can solve this issue for you uh you can start a screen session and then open any number of windows and, and it's basically called virtual terminals inside of that session and processes running within screen you know will continue to run even when that window is not visible so you could disconnect from it and everything and just to give you guys another example or a practical example let's say you have two remote servers and you need to migrate some data from one of those servers to the other server and let's say you're using rsync uh, well, you can log into the server that has the data using SSH, create a screen, and then run the orsync command migrating the data over to the other server. And you can also disconnect from that screen and just let it run in the background, disconnect SSH, you know, from that system and then come back and check, you know, periodically until it's, you know, that orsync is complete or that migration is done. So that's one of the use cases for actually using screen to handle real world situations. So uh, that's the whole purpose of me showing you this application. So now that you guys have some detail of how to actually use screen, let's go ahead and show you guys how to install and use it. Okay, cool. So the first thing I wanna do is show you guys how to install screen, which is a very simple process. Um, right now I'm logged into my Ubuntu 20.04 server in VirtualBox. And the command to install it is sudo apt uh, install and then screen. And I'm only just showing you that guys that in case it's not on your system because most modern day systems, they have screen involved installed by default. So you don't have to really worry about installing it, which I'm sure it's on this Ubuntu 20.04 uh, install, but that's the same with Arch as well as the other major distributions. They all have screen installed by default. Now, if you have like an older version that you have installed, you may have to install screen. Cause I remember when I set up, I had, I think I had to do a restall, reinstall on Ubuntu 20.04, no 16.04, um, a fresh install. I had to install screen cause it wasn't included. When you do the main install is one of the packages that are installed by default. So I'm not going to run that command because I'm sure that it's on here. So let's go down and look at the version that I have. So the command to do that is screen dash dash version and press enter and it'll show you the version. And what we have on here is 4.0.8.00. Good new. Uh, last time it was updated it was February of 2020. So we have it installed. So it's good to go. Okay, so now let me go down and show you guys how to actually use it. And the base command is screen. So if we type screen, that'll actually start a new session, a new screen session. So we type screen, press enter, and you'll see that it gives you, you know, all the information on it, version notes, as well as what the system is about. So if you press space, um, that'll take you to the screen. And as you can see, it looks like a new terminal. And you don't really have any indication other than that beginning screen that you're actually in a screen or a session because it looks just like a normal terminal but this is an actual screen session and now that we had that screen session open i want to show you how to look at all the commands that you can run within screen and screen actually uses control a for all the commands that you want to send to the screen and whenever you type control a and then let's say we want to look at all the commands um and the way you do that is uh, with the question mark. So we do shift and then question mark. That'll open up and show you guys all the command keys. And with all these command keys, you have to type control A in front of them. 
But yeah, it has a lot of different commands you can go through. I'm going to hit the space bar to go to the end. You know what I'm saying? You can go all the way down to the bottom uh, and then press return and that'll close all of it. But that's pretty much all the key bindings for a screen uh, once you hit control A. But I'm going to show you some of the most useful ones that I use. And if you want any more information, you know, check out the documentation. It'll explain what all those other commands do. Okay, and really the main one I want to show you now that we're in the screen is that you can create multiple windows within a screen session. So this is one screen session right here. Let me run a command right fast. I'm going to just run neat uname dash a boom. Now we know that that's on there. We are that's on that actual window. So let's go ahead and create a new window within this screen session. And the command to do that, you have to do control a and then C. That will create another window, a new window. So let's run sudo apt uh, updates. I'm gonna just run update on it. Even though I know this system is up to date, I just want you guys to see something on this window. That way it looks different from the other window that we already have open within the session. Now, the next thing I wanna do, uh, since we can't really you can't really see the other screens and it's kind of it's kind of confusing if you don't know what you're doing. But the way you list out all of the windows that you have open, if you type control A and then you have to press shift because it uses the um, the quotes. So shift and then the quotes. And as you can see, it lists out each one of the bash sessions or the windows that you have open. So you can actually uh, press enter and that'll take you to it. And if we go control A again and hit shift, and then you can go to the second one by just selecting and press enter. Cool. So that's how you switch between both windows. So that's how you play around with the different windows that you have in there. There are other um, commands you could do that'll go through and allow you to manage the, the windows within there. But I didn't want to go too deep. Uh, I wanted you guys to kind of learn on your own. That's the way I learn by actually doing it. So once I get, once you, you know, get screen open, open up a session, create a couple windows, you know what I'm saying? And play around with those different windows. Uh, there are some other options in there. Like you can rename those windows. So like when we were in here that list out the different windows that we had open, you can actually rename these windows, but I want to show you how to do it. It's basically, uh, the a, so you got to hit control a and then capital a, and that'll rename the current window that you have open. You can rename it to whatever you want. And it's a few other options in there. So, okay, cool. And then just to show you guys how to actually close these windows, you can just simply type exit and it'll exit out that window for you. And it'll take you back to the current window or the other window that's that you have open. And if you have multiple ones, it'll just take you to one of them that you have uh, created. Now, let me go down and show you guys how to actually manage the session. Like this session is open. We have multiple windows open. We close one of those windows. Now let's go on and detach this. So let's say you're running, like I stated in the beginning, that or sync command to copy some data over or whatever. You have some script running. Uh, well, the way you get out of it is simply control A and then D. And that'll detach that actual screen connection. But now that we are attached it I'm, i want to go down and show you guys how to reattach that actual session and the way you do that is simply screen dash or press enter and that'll connect us back to that session that we created earlier so so that's an easier way to disconnect from that session and reconnect back so like let's say you don't trust your ssh connection you know it may freeze up or something like that then you can de detach you know, control A and then D that'll detach, you know, and then you can uh, exit out that SSH connection and then let that that screen will still be running. You know what I'm saying? So whatever command you have running within that screen, you know, it's still there. And as you can see, I'm, I'm SSH and back into it. And then now let's go down and uh, connect back to that screen, screen dash or press enter. And bam, there you go. You're back into that session. And that works for the windows as well. So if you have multiple windows open within the screen session, all those windows that are running will still be there. 
now let me go ahead and show you guys how to manipulate multiple screen sessions so let's say let's disconnect from this one ah and actually i terminated it on accident so if we type screen and get into this new screen session and then let's run you name again and let's just run you name and now let's disconnect from this one and let's create another one so let's go screen again this will create a new session and let's run sudo apt updates and run that right fast and let's disconnect from this one as well cool so now we have two screen sessions open i just want to show you guys how to actually find the sessions now let's say you disconnect and you don't know what this is you know what the screen uh session number is because this is what you're looking for the screen session number so if let's say you disconnect from this system and i'll do that right now and then go back into it right fast when you when you log into the system via ssh you won't know what those screen session numbers are so in order to find out what they are because you know they're still running uh you just don't know what the session numbers are so if we type because you can't just type screen dash or because it won't know which one you because you have multiple sessions open so if we type screen and then dash la this which is some of the one of the options you know you can run that and that'll show you the screens that you have open and they're both detached as you can see it gives you a little information there you know this is the name uh this is when it was stored it you know and it's detached at the currently and so all you have to do is copy the number of the screen that you want to connect to the session that you want to connect to and then you can type in screen dash or and then you want to put that session id there and it's that's pretty much what i call it session id and press enter and it'll connect you back to that session. And then as I stated earlier, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the way you close out those sessions is just simply type in exit. So if you type exit, that'll kill the session for you to terminate it. It'll say screen is terminating, but that other one is still open. So uh, let's list it again, just so you guys can see that other session is there. Uh, and we don't have to type in the, the ID for it because it's the only one running. So we type screen or, and then we get exit out of that session. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Go down and install screen or just open up a terminal and start messing with screen. Cause this is a great application, you know what I'm saying? To handle certain processes or like long running scripts. You know what I'm saying? on like a remote server that you're managing from a from a distance so screen is a good application for this so i'll see you guys on the next video and keep it techy